Hey guys, so today's video is weird for me to do. Also, Joe's here <laughs> for more for moral support. Um, I've mentioned it. Oh, there was a bug. Anyway, um, I've mentioned it in a couple of videos now, I think. Uh, my last major depressive episode. Um, at like the start of 2016. Are you, are you posing in the back? Right. My last major like depressive episode started in uh, like January of 2016 and it was over my gender identity. Um, I started asking myself what is a man and what is a woman and what am I and I didn't have any answers for that and it became obsessive and I couldn't not think about it and uh, it was all I talked about with my friends if I wasn't actively talking to someone else about anything else it was what I was thinking about like I was not listening to anything so sorry to all my friends for like that six months um, but yeah I it just became just really obsessive thought that I had constantly running through my head of what is a man what is a woman what am I I know. And I didn't, I can't, I couldn't answer it, and I still can't, really. Um, a man is what ever a man wants to be, and same with a woman, and that didn't leave me a way to answer what am I. So I found the term non binary, and it didn't necessarily <laughs> it we didn't have a cat we have a cat who likes to claw the bed it um, yeah so I found the term non-binary and it it didn't fit like a glove like my other identifiers it didn't it didn't have that light bulb moment as I usually call it um, but it was good enough. It meant that I, it was a word I could use to say I wasn't a woman because I knew I wasn't that. Um, just because I was questioning it, I knew that I, I couldn't be that because cis people don't really question that. You know, it's just wh who they are and it's what they are and that's it. Are you hitting the bed or is that the cat? That's me. <laughs> um, so I, I, stuck with the term non-binary for just over a year now um, but it the last couple of months it's really bothered me that I don't really have an answer still um, non-binary is nice and it and it fits for the most part uh, because I'm not a woman uh, and that was enough for me to be non-binary. There's the cat again. About a month now, I've been having a lot of issues about, <laughs> the cat's going nuts. Uh, I've been having a lot of, I've been having a hard time like using f female public restrooms and um, yeah, just, a lot, like, it was, I don't know, the last couple of weeks, about a, about a month, I'd say, um, I've just been having lots of little, <laughs> lots of little, like, issues with everything, and everything kind of just made me uncomfortable, and I was starting to feel really uncomfortable in my skin, and, um, I, I, I didn't know what that was, I kind of just thought it was my depression, um, and it kind of was, uh, but yesterday, was it yesterday? Day before yesterday. Or, you know, no? it was Monday, right? Yeah, so yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yesterday, I was at work, and I went to the bathroom, and I, I don't even know how to explain it. I just got really upset that I had to sit down to pee. 
I don't, I don't know how else to put that. I j and I got angry. And that's never happened to me before because the only dysphoria I've ever really felt was for my chest. And I dealt with that. I got rid of them. I've never had any sort of bottom dysphoria before and I became really angry and I don't, I still can't figure out if I was angry at myself for feeling dysphoria or if I was just angry at the fact that I had to sit down to pee. I don't know what caused it but I just got instantly angry and it scared me. Um, like I said, it was the first time I've ever felt any kind of um, bottom dysphoria and it just, it freaked me out. Um, still freaks me out a little bit. Good news is I've peed today and it was fine. I didn't get mad at anybody, including myself. <laughs> um, so I immediately told, I like texted Joe and I told her what was happening because she's trans and she can kind of understand what I'm talking about. <clears throat> and we talked about it last night. Like we went to our PFLAG meeting and I didn't really get a chance to share, which was fine because um, we had another person that needed to share more and that was totally cool. Um, but it gave Joe and I kind of a reason to talk about it because I didn't get to, get to share in group. So <clears throat> we came home from PFLAG and I was talking to Joe and we're kind of she was kind of just helping me like work through what I was feeling and and everything and anyway long story short there was lots of tears and I'm trans I'm a boy <laughs> yeah I don't I don't know what that quite means for me yet. I don't know what kind of man I am or how to be a man or <laughs> any of those questions that immediately pop into at least my brain. Um, I don't have answers for that yet and that is scary. I, I don't know any of it. Um, But I, I'm also f learning that that's okay. It's, I don't need to have all the answers right now because that's what life is, is a cat walking through your shop and not having answers to the life's big questions. And I don't know, I'm okay with that. I sort most days, most times I'm, I'm, I'm okay with it, <sighs> kinda. I'm learning to be okay with it. Um, if anything, that's kind of what this last year has taught me. Um, spending a year or so, roughly, um, identifying as non-binary uh, has taught me to not need answers, um, to, to let life be the answer that it is. And that is always gonna be a really complicated, messy answer and that that's okay. So that's it. That's all this video is about. Um, I don't know about any transition stuff. I don't know about tea. I don't know if I'm going to change my name. I don't know. And that's okay. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.